Good afternoon, everybody, and uh, welcome to Aves and Fauna. Today we are in Mathuran, in a place called Spring Woods Heritage. We are here for a macro photography trail. Uh, I am here with uh, Mr. Yuvraj Gurjar, uh, and uh, he, along with the rest of the group, will be going for macro. So this is Spring Woods Heritage. Nice property, uh, and nice because we got three wine snakes right here in the property itself. uh one was over there on those branches one was over there as you can see the rest of the people are photographing and then we also got a meeting shot of uh, wine snake inside so guys our afternoon macro trail is on this is our group and this place is just be behind the hotel and we are looking at different specimens here so guys so far we have managed to see one scorpio some mushrooms a wine snake and a bamboo pit viper now they have just found bamboo pit viper so we'll see where it is ah there it is oh my god it's green इसमें actual color of scorpio is this yeah, now yeah. we will throw uv light on this pro dalio and this is how it looks in uv light fantastic so while it is pretending to be dead it is not dead this is just an act act of god act of god act of god this is just an act of scorpio so that we leave him he realizes he's been surrounded by photographs apne upar pada dusra do touch match so anyways guys you can see that white tip of the tail so i was told that this is endemic to mathuran area i will ask yuvraj a little bit more about this in some time ne jawan jawan pink shade chhod do manon me hone ka sab ek ka so guys after our wine snake a uh, bamboo pit viper and uh, scorpio is done we are looking for other specimens other creatures that we can find here so we are walking along the roads uh, and uh, and we have done a fair bit of walking and looking at different places uh, the scorpion experience was really amazing uh, it was really nice to see it glow up in the uv light obviously you can see the pictures but uh, but beautiful experience so uh, let me show you around where we are walking but enjoy the monkey point in the meantime oh my god is this place is oh my god enjoy it in the wow guys look at this place of course because of the monsoon you know this place is looking much much better but uh, and then we have these friends of ours this is our group this time for this photography and these are some lovely flowers you are a wine snake ढूंढ रहे हो वो आ गया इधर नहीं है we are looking for wine snake we had seen one while we were coming towards monkey point and now we will try to locate him back and hopefully 
take a picture or two. It was a big wine snake. This wine snake found. Nice. So that's our team. We are heading out for night trail, like soldiers head out. And we are already looking at something on the steps. Skitter frog. So guys, wish us luck. Let's see what all can we find. <coughs> he is the man of the hour. Ibra sir, look here. Ah ha ha. <laughs> he is a man of the hour. We are. He is a man of the hours, and we are depending on his expert finding skills. Guess what? We found a cat snake. In fact, not we. Mr. Yuvraj found the cat snake, and it's a well illuminated species, as you can see. So guys, plenty of wine snakes here, and finally one cat snake. We spent a good half an hour with him. Tried to be as careful as possible. Tried some good shots. Tried some creative shots. Uh, for first 20 minutes, I had no idea how to focus on the snake. Uh, but anyways, thanks to you, Raj. and the team i managed to click few shots with flash without flash let's see what i have done uh but yeah so supposedly cat snake is a rare or not very common uh, snake to be seen so everybody was happy and excited so yeah so now we are start continuing ahead and let's see what else we can find luckily thankfully weather is still supporting there is no rain otherwise i was really scared about the rain Ah, uh, you know, with water and all, not a good experience. So, guys, after cat snake, we have seen more wine snakes. We have seen even one bamboo pit viper, but we have not. We are not waiting for stopping for them. We are just continuing ahead. We saw a shield tail. Unfortunately, it just went inside a wall. a uh, mud wall so there was no point in even trying to wait or chase so anyways what we are looking for is now wolf snake if it's possibly we can see that otherwise geckos and spider still remains top priority what is this pay master park or oh, it is actually pay master park only All right, guys. So we are in the park now. Let's see what we can find here. Lucky, we found a bull snake, as you can see, with a frog tail. Now we are trying to maintain a good distance from them, from the snake, so that he doesn't leave the prey and all. But look at that. स्नेक भी खाया दे आता तो पहले देख उसने लेक छोड़ा अभी सर से अंदर डाला
is aware of all presence but it doesn't mind us so we will have to be aware of all of us ये ये रुक जा तो आपके पास ही है मेरी पड़ी है मेरी पड़ी है 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 मेरे खेत में है गया फ्रॉग अंदर पूरा गया था इसलिए तो अस्पताल छोड़ लाना को क्या क्या अंदर फ्रॉग गया पूरा गया अंदर हां ये फावड़ा से तो फ्टर दैट फैंटेस्टिक नेट जियो नेट जियो मूवमेंट आउटसाइड I hope I have done justice to that photographs. Uh, what I have clicked over there, I definitely have tried to click a take a big full video sequence of the meeting. Anyways, now we have a hammer-headed slug here. Uh, yep, there it is. Now we'll try to click some pictures, but that's about it. and there we have some small juvenile bush frog there there is the juvenile bush frog so let's see so anyways we are just heading back uh, to the hotel and uh, i think we are done for the day now whatever we find along the way then that's about it um by by mr yuvraj's count this has been an amazing trip because they found rather we found wine snake bamboo pit viper the cat snake the wolf snake and they had also seen trinket in the afternoon i had come to hotel at gali so at that time they had found a trinket so five snakes which is a very good thing very very good thing we also managed to see a banded gecko a termite hill gecko a bark gecko as now we are also trying for shield tail <laughs> it's a little uh, too ambitious for the night but we are also trying for shield tail let's see if we can find that good morning everybody today is day 2 of our macro session and uh, i tried in the morning to do a little bit of birding but uh, i couldn't find much birds in fact i couldn't find any birds just heard few calls saw one malabar whistling thrush so now for breakfast and after that heading out for another macro trail uh let's see how it goes so guys our uh, first subject for today we found is a caterpillar of tiger moth beautiful coloration i'll show you a close up in a bit beautiful coloration i mean too good to be true types guys look at it आपके पास ऐसे कलेक्शन कितना है हजार लाख का डॉक्यूमेंट करना पड़ेगा ना भाई ये टाइम इधर दिखा था मॉर्निंग So anyways we are done with the moth now we are heading ahead guys we found a rat snake unfortunately a dead specimen but a very long one like really long 7 feet a small wine snake there it is all right all right guys this is called dead man's finger all of these dead man fingers are themselves dead 
बिकॉज इफ देवर अलाइव यू वुड हैव सीन अ वाइटिश सब्सटेंस एज अ कैप ऑन दैम ऑन देयर टॉप्स बट नेवर द लेस दिस इज कॉल्ड द डेड मैन फिंगर्स फंगस द डेड मैन फिंगर्स फंगस दैट्स टंग ट्विस्टर सो या गुड हाई लेवल शॉर्ट्स Uh, here also. Uh, so when the species count of animals and insects is less, you have to make do with fungus and fungi. So let's continue. So guys, this is the sunset point. Finally, we are here. Look at that fantastic view. beautiful scenery as i was saying yesterday because of the monsoon everything is green and lush oi oi beautiful yuvraj bhai those are the carvi flowers right the carvi trees to jo niche hai acha those are also The hill carvi is the seven year one, right? Yeah, this is seven year. This, All this, these these patches, na? Ah, uh, that's for that's for. And these yellow flowers are stone key. Cenotria. Stone key. Yeah, stone key. What yeah. what we say, say dia. Wow. So the carpet ni ho gaya, dekha hai toh? Yellow flowers that we are looking at are stone key. And ye niche hai kya? Ye kaun sa location hai niche? Ye tumhara ye more bed hai na? That's a new. So guys those are the carvi plants which blooms once in 7 years the yellow flowers that you see in this video and i have seen all along these ridges those are son ki kya bola son ki right so that was yuvraj bhai he was explaining son ki okay so that's the morbe dam in the background it really is beautiful no doubt about that right now and i have been told 3 4 times repeatedly not to venture too close to the edge so i have to be careful about that and now we are heading back waterfall dikha ha waterfall dikha we'll grab ourselves a cup of tea and then we will start heading back towards the hotel So even though we managed to get a small clip of that snake, checkered keel back, um, it did not come out after that. So anyways, we left six snakes. Yesterday we missed the the trinket snake. Otherwise, it would have been six snakes for me personally. Nevertheless, five snakes in one trip, not a bad uh, count at all, I would say. But nothing much in this morning trail in this sunset point area. Anyways, heading back to hotel now. Uh, it's almost time for us to leave. but uh, along the way we'll we'll continue to look for please things and see what we can find plenty of butterflies very active not uh, really able to click them but plenty of butterflies so we are back from our morning macro trail it was a mixed macro trail i would say we had butterflies uh, the caterpillar and one snake two snakes in fact we saw one wine snake and one uh, checkered keel back Anyways, now I'm going to introduce you to Mr. Yuvraj Gurjar, who is the person with whom we came here. A little bit about his journey. Uh, for the people from Mumbai, Maharashtra area, I think he needs no introduction. He's is is pretty big authority when it comes to macro. But for the people looking from other sides, uh, Mr. Yuvraj has been doing macro for past thirty thirty five years. He is a small authority in himself in pretty much every aspect of macro, from flowers to plants to animals to snakes. Anyways, let's understand a little bit about macro from him, and what we should keep in mind when we are do, doing macro. So over to Mr. Yuvraj. Alright, guys, he is Mr. Yuvraj, our young, handsome gentleman. So, uh, Yuvraj, boy, uh, give us a little bit introduction about yourself, uh, uh, about your journey, and then maybe we'll ask a little bit more questions about macro specifically. Yeah. Uh, basically, I started with bird watching in 1987, so around 35 years back. 
it started with bird watching but then i i noticed that everybody is talking about the big birds the big animals only the lions tigers giraffes elephants here in india but nobody is talking about the butterflies the bees and amsel flies so i thought uh, i must venture that uh, genre that part of smaller fauna more and then i started observing them initially then i started photographing them uh, of course it is from a uh, film camera era but then slowly gradually when the digital ca- uh, era is introduced digital camera introduced so it is uh, more easy to capture easy to get the images more g- good quality of course same time the social media is happening uh, internet is introduced in india and the entire journey entire communication is so much smoother and faster so basically basically uh, i am uh, started observing and this smaller fauna i started studying about them then i started finding more and more new features their uniqueness in the field and then i started sharing these things with my uh, fellow friends or fellow photographers then i started going with my uh, tour company along with indian forest as well as uh, outside to venture the macro because everybody is talking about the elephants and tigers but nobody is talking still today correct for correct the, uh, macro macro as a field is <coughs> not very vastly known yes but obviously there are many people who are getting more and more interested in macro yes. you know there are a lot yes. of people there out there yes. in the field but so uh, so so what should a person keep in mind when he is doing his macro generally when people want to start macro what are the things that they can probably keep in mind which helps them see basically in which habitat you are going to uh, venture the macro that is most important that what likely species you can able to see there then what is the climate that you are going there which are the known species are recorded there that you should know see in this matheran when we are coming here so we were pretty much confident that we will definitely get to see the wine snake the bamboo pit viper and few species so that we have to keep in mind and then the searching will be more easy that when i i, I know that this is the forest for wine snake so i will search look up for the wine snake so we will get wine snake so whenever if you are going say kuru if you are going to agumbe if you are going to amboli if you are going to mahabaleshwar you should know what kind of species you will find there and then you look for them for a person who is starting with macro what would be an ideal recommendation from your side matlab uh, what i'm trying to say is that does he need to buy the entire gear on day 1 or is it something else you know he can probably start something slow and then gradually build up his uh, you know macro arsenal what 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 is your suggestion on that see uh, everybody is doesn't knowing his potential and his liking in photography so suppose if you are liking your macro photography you can slowly build your gear it is not necessarily you you buy a high end digital slr or high end mirrorless camera with proper macro lens you can slowly build along with a say close up filter which is just hardly 800 2000 rupees accessory to your close up uh, lens kit lens so it will fit on your uh, available lens you can venture with that if you see that basically ki the results are good and all that you are thorough with that then you can go for extension tube or rhinox or nisi close up filter kind of thing then eventually you go for a proper hardcore macro lens which is very easy giving you 1 is to 1 magnification ratio but you should always use it potentially with all its features and all its probabilities you will get in the field so slowly build that don't go very first day because if you are not used to macro photography it will be very difficult and then you will be unsatisfied because just getting a macro lens will not become a macro photographer correct, correct. how you use it in a field what are their one to one magnification ratio how it travels what is the minimum focusing distance how much slow focusing you need whether you need auto focus whether you need a is or vr whether you need a manual focus that you need slowly learn on a field itself so go slowly so with any uh, so with any uh, so we can do macro even with normal bodies also we don't need yes, yes right no 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 we don't need a big lens or big body or something no, like not, that no not not at all not at all not perfect at all. perfect perfect thank you finally question is i see you know and this is my personal question to you uh, i see a lot of your pictures where you know geckos are literally 
you know there are the best shots of geckos in fact you have a photograph of a snake you know which is the first recorded cannibalism thing how did you manage to get them see you have to what uh, is the secret behind it first is experience then <laughs> okay. practice you Correct. have to venture and then you have to study that forest what kind of forest you are going then you think about that species continuously locate them so if you are looking you are concentrating all your attention on your species what are species snake bird what are species then definitely you will get to know them you will notice them and then you can approach them and you can photograph them perfect perfect so you still did not reveal your secret but you gave a lot of suggestions other than that <laughs> all right thank you very much for all the information i hope uh, for all the users it's going to be helpful for them All right, guys. So that was uh, Mr. Yuvraj Gurjar for you. I hope uh, you kind of understood a little bit about macro. So the synopsis which I understood is that you don't need to go on day one and buy an expensive gear. Obviously, I also started with a basic body and then you know graduated to another thing and another thing. Uh, I'm still learning macro, and I'm sure that you must have understood that macro needs practice and experience. So yes, uh, I'm gonna share his. Can I share your number with them? Definitely. I'm going to share his number with you. Uh, do not call him. Please WhatsApp him. And if you have any query regarding macro, uh, Mr. Yuvraj also has couple of uh, I think Godox and uh, Vanguard is what you Vanguard, have. Vanguard, right? Nisi, and Tamra. Uh, so, so he has couple of brands with which uh, you know where uh, he takes care of them in Mumbai and Maharashtra region. Anybody wants something, he can get in touch with him. Other than that, for technical requirements, please get in touch with him. In case he's doing a workshop, uh, you can join him. Is that's it from us from Springwood. Thank you so much for being a part of this video. Till next time, at our next destination, at next place. See you and bye bye. Sorry guys, this is a post-credit scene. I had forgotten yesterday. This is the entrance of Mathuran. You have to take 50 rupees ticket per person to come inside. And uh, this is the MTDC Resort. Uh, So because it's a Sunday, it's a lot of crowd. Weekdays are better. If you are coming by your own car, normally there is a toll train to here or taxis. But if you come by your own car, just at the this is the entrance of Mathuran. Just at the entrance of Mathuran is a car parking area. This one. It's called Dasturi Naka. So you can get your car parked here. 150 rupees they charge for an overnight parking charges and then when you are done the next day or whatever you can come and take your vehicle out so people coming by their own two wheelers or bikes uh, with their own two wheelers or cars they can come here park their vehicle all right that's it thank you so much bye bye